Okay, so today we're just going to talk about the Tomahawk T-Scar um, 8-inch drum. And this is just a basic trip hazard removal device. It can be used for different applications, but it's got a, a couple little features on it, but nothing too complicated. And today we're just going to talk about how to remove that drum and then the maintenance of it. So it's run by a Honda engine. And then we got these tungsten carbide blades on here, as you can see. But after, so it spins, as the engine starts, it spins about 3,000 rotations per minute. And as you grind down concrete in different surfaces, this is going to wear out, so you're going to have to change it out. Now, one thing to note about these is, like, some people, they just try to grind at trip hazard really hard, and they wear these drums out, and they don't get the full life that they should. And in doing that, you can also break the internal bearings on these. We're using Japanese NSK bearings, so they're very high quality, but they're not magicians. If you're really rough on this piece of equipment, it's gonna break. So the, the suggested grinding ratio is about a sixteenth of an inch. You don't need to grind down really hard. You just need to kind of float it lightly on the top and work down on that grind. Just like, just like you're cutting with a saw, you're gonna wanna slowly work down that concrete. In this scarifier, just like a concrete saw where you step cut, you go two inches, four inches, six inches, same deal. You're just gonna slowly work it down on the concrete so you're not overusing these drums. Now to remove it, because it is like with, with concrete blades, concrete saw blades, and scar fires, the one niche is that it's reverse threading, which means you can't go by the righty tighty, lefty loosey, it's the opposite. So righty loosey, lefty tighty, just backwards. So you'll be over cranking if you go, now it does say left hand thread on top, so that's what that means. So take any impact wrench to remove this. You probably wanna bring the blade up. Any impact wrench, you can use a 26 millimeter socket. You can get this at an AutoZone. If you don't have it or a Home Depot or whatever it might be, just that one socket is kind of unique. You'll take off the cap. And then this is kind of just a, a shaft but we're, we're not gonna go reverse, we're actually gonna go forward on this because otherwise it's not gonna work. So, there it goes. And you can see that it already kinda came out. So now, I'm just kinda removing the weight. That's it. So there's your drum. Same goes for putting it back on. I would suggest you tilt it all the way back, but if you have oil on this machine, it's gonna kinda kick back on the muffler. So, and then it might smoke for a couple minutes. So I try not to put it all the way back, although if you don't have fuel in it, then that's fine. Um, especially if it's real quick, it, it would burn off. But generally you wanna kinda like avoid doing it this way, just cause it'll smoke. But you kinda line it up with the shaft. Once you get it in there. Now that it's in, kind of lower it. And I'll go reverse, even though I'm going forward. Put the cap back on, and then my drop is back on. So that is the Tomahawk Skyrefire changing and removing and putting the new drum on. Not too difficult. I just want to emphasize that when you're grinding down, don't go too deep. Take it easy with this. It's going to work great. It's going to last a lot longer. If you just take your time and float over those trip hazards. Don't try to beat the crap out of it. It's be easier and harder. That's it. Thank you.